In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 4, verses 7 through to 18. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. We are hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying about in the body of the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life of Jesus may be manifested in our body. For we who live are always delivered to death for Jesus' sake, that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So then, death is working in us, but life in you. And since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believed and therefore I spoke, we also believe and therefore speak knowing that he who raised up the Lord Jesus will also, will also raise us up with Jesus and will present us with you. For all things are for your sake, that grace, having spread through the many, may cause thanksgiving to abound to the glory of God. Therefore, we do not lose heart, even though our outward bound man is perishing, yet the inward man is being rewarded day by day for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Glory to you, O God. May the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen, amen, amen. Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.